You know, you're a pretty special guy when they name a local field after you. And Butch Ryan was that special type of guy. Butch was one of a kind, but he did care about you. And I, I believe he made us a lot better people than we are here because of Butch Ryan. Delaware County, everyone knew Butch and loved him, and he will be missed. My name is Carmen Lex, and I played for Coach Butch Ryan on a 95 and 115 pound team down at Aston AA. He molded us as a team. You know, I think he took the individuality out of us and made us a team and understood that, you know, I couldn't be any better if this guy didn't do his job. You know, he wanted you to succeed and there was ways he knew how for you to succeed. My name is Ben Davis. I grew up in Aston and I got to know Coach Butch. Uh, Butchie was an Aston icon. The man loved basketball. He would do anything for the game. That's why he was at so many games. And he just loved being around it. He loved everything about it. He loved teaching it. His point was basically, you know, play the game the right way. Fundamentals. He stressed fundamentals and he wanted the kids to carry him out the best way they could. The thing about Bush, he had a lot of messages, but you always knew when he was in the gym. I don't care how loud the game was or he could be at a baseball game or football game. No matter how loud it was, he was out there screaming, you could hear him. <laughs> It was like when he walked into a room, it was almost an automatic party. Everybody would light up and his face would light up. I was always afraid he was going to pull some trick on me though, so I kept my distance. <laughs> my name is Ollie Armitage. Uh, I knew Butch from junior high school in 1937, but I didn't see as much of him as I'd like to have, but I know he's a great builder of character of young men and he really did a job. Butch comes on the field, he says, hi Joe, how you doing? I said, I don't Butch. I said, what are you doing tonight? He said, I'm coaching third base. I said, oh, no, you're not. I said, what do you mean? You got a straw hat, you got shorts, and you're gonna coach third base? I said, I got people from all over the state. I said, give me, at least give me a baseball cap and a pair of pants. <laughs> now, Butch pitched a no-hitter one time, but we lost the game 10 to nothing. How we do that? He walked 20 guys. <laughs> he was a great guy. He was a, a good husband, um, a good dad. You know, we, we always enjoyed being around him, and uh, you know, it was just a lot of fun with him. So. And Butch would follow you after he was done coaching you. Was the great part about him? He must have had over 150 people with him. They brought him down to Westchester Stadium. And after the game, they, they gave me a, a jacket that said Pride of Aston. And I mean, it was like, I'm, I'm still thinking about it now, getting a little teary-eyed a little bit about it, but it was, it was a jacket he gave me, and he just said, we were just so proud of you for, you know, your success and everything else. He'll be missed, huh? Oh, absolutely, but you know what? But he'll be remembered also, though. He'll be remembered for everything he's done for us, and everybody has a little something to butch at home somewhere. The greatest gift that any adult can give the children in their community is a happy childhood. And it was men like Butch Ryan that would do that. He'll be missed. He'll truly be missed.